Hello everyone, this is Mr. Barnard. I'm going to show you in this video how to get started uh, recording your GarageBand project. So we've got it all set up. We've got our key signature, time signature, tempo. We got our project length all set up from the last video. Now I'm going to start recording uh, my project. There's a couple things got to be careful about. One thing you want to make sure you do is you need to use headphones when recording. Uh, when you decide to record, you're going to want to use the, uh, the metronome to help you. But if you are not practicing with headphones, you're going to hear the metronome bleeding into your track when you turn the metronome off. So that would be cause an issue as far as creating environmental noise. Also, you want to make sure that you are recording in a quiet environment. Um, I happen to be in the basement here, and I got the uh, the dryer running in the background, so I'm probably not going to get the best uh, recording with uh, environmental interference or lack of it. So, uh, just for the purpose of showing you what to do here in this video, you're going to see some things on what not to do because um, I, for some reason, cannot use my headphones and use this reflector app to create this video. So. You're going to hear some track bleeding in this, some examples of this. In my next video, I'll have you guys check out some clean tracks so you can hear what I've recorded previously. So, again, my project is Rosamund, and I am going to start recording my, my third track, uh, or my third part on the clarinet trio here, because uh, there's a lot of moving parts in there. There's uh, quarter notes in, the, in there, so... That will help act as a metronome for me as well when I'm recording. Okay, So again, when you're ready to record your tracks, you need to make sure that you're set uh, on the right track that you want to record. When you hit the record button, um, it's going to give you a, a one measure count off. Then you can start recording. Okay, So again, I'm doing this without headphones, which is a major no-no. But obviously, I can't do this uh, video without uh, with the headphones in, so this is how I'm going to have to show this to you guys. Okay, so again, hit the record button. I'm just going to record the first eight measures um, of this for you. Um, you know, obviously, you're going to record your first 16 measures uh, for your section, or depending on the project that you chose. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and play this back for you. You can listen to it. Now the metronome might be off with me a little bit. That has to deal more with the airplay causing some problems, and yeah, th this is popping up. Okay, so there might be some interference that way, but ideally, again, you hear the metronome. If I was to turn that metronome off, so if I go to metronome and turn it off, okay, you're going to still hear it in my track. Eventually, I'll play. You can faintly hear it in there, but um, on the uh, iPad, you can hear it a little bit better. There, I hear it there a little bit. Okay, so that is track bleeding, okay, which you do not want. So, to avoid track bleeding, you need to use headphones, okay, and that way. When you turn the metronome off, all you're going to hear is your part played. Okay? So now, um, I'm just going to go ahead and keep that for the sake of uh, showing you how to record your tracks. Now I want to record the first part. So now I have the third part and the first part. So the good thing is, once you lay down a track and you play your other parts, you actually have other parts to accompany you, which is pretty nice. So again, 
you need to use headphones okay so you're gonna hear some track bleeding in this okay so again just gonna record the first eight measures again I hit the record button and I have one measure uh, count up before I start recording Again, you just do the redo button that erases that. Okay, so here I go again. So I kind of went past that. Let's check it out. This might be off because of the airplay is throwing me off a little bit. You can hear the interference already. And the bleeding. Part of that problem also might be is my Mac is also playing that also. Okay, so again, uh, in, in envir environmental noise and uh, track bleeding is an issue for this. Okay, so again, you got to use the headphones to avoid this. Okay, so the next thing you would do is just simply record track number two. If you're going in the order that I'm going. Okay, so I'll have my other two parts there. Make sure that you drag this marker here all the way back to, to uh, the beginning. Uh, don't record, you know, uh, from where it stopped. Otherwise, it's going to be all in the wrong place. Okay, so now I'm going to record my uh, middle part here. Again, I'm just doing the first eight measures, okay, just to hear it. Okay, and yep, here we go. Let's check it out. And I can already tell that I'm not going to be satisfied with what I'm recording here just because I'm getting a lot of delay uh, from this. So again, I'm getting all sorts of delay because of the reflector app, but let me show you real quickly how you know if you've got bleeding in your tracks. If I take my tracks out here and slide this out, real simple thing you can do is mute your other tracks. Okay, so if I do this, I'll hear some bleeding because I'm not using headphones. So let's check this out. Very faintly, you can hear the other part in there. You can hear the part three in there. You can hear the metronome clicking in there too. So that's track bleeding. Okay, and we wanna avoid that. So the way to avoid that is to use headphones and that will um, avoid that situation, okay? So let me just close out of this project. Let me open up a sample of me recording Rosamond. And here I've done two sections. I've done section A and section B. 
and I did use headphones here and you will notice that there's no track bleeding. So let me pull this up. You don't hear the metronome in there. You don't hear the other parts. So if I do this, now I should be able to hear just the second part by itself. Okay, but that's how you can test if you've got bleeding in your tracks. Okay, some students might notice um, a bug in their garage band where the metronome might bleed even if you use headphones. So uh, that's a problem that I had, and I had to actually turn off the metronome. So an, an all more important reason to record uh, the uh, third track of this project. Okay, so I can use that as a function of the metronome. Okay, so the big thing here when you're recording, use headphones. Very, very important to use your headphones when you record. Okay, and make sure that you also record in an environment that is very quiet. We don't want to hear uh, dogs barking in the background or TVs on or anything like that. So you need to make sure that you're in a quiet environment when you're recording. Okay, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. And uh, everyone should have uh, their tracks, all their tracks recorded before we start getting into the editing process.